So, got a spicy hot take. Well, a couple of hot takes from a Funimation voice actress. These are pretty funny. Alex Moore, who has a pretty impressive resume, as you can see right here. Fire Force and a few others. Fairy Tale, One Piece, and so on and so on. A lot of credits at Funimation. Really shouldn't be a big shocker. <laughs> it shouldn't be a big a shocker that hot takes like these are coming from a voice actor associated with Funimation. As you know, Funimation has quite the reputation. We've went over it extensively on this channel and many others have talked about them before. But I thought I would share some of these takes here. So this is kind of a fallout from the big Kiss anime shutdown. A lot of people not happy about it. And this voice actress has decided to, to chime in, give you her hot takes, let you know how you should be feeling. If you're pirating anime, please stop. Your excuse is invalid. Please learn the concept of then you don't get to have it. You're not entitled to consume it merely because it exists and is out of your reach. That's some colonizer BS. I could use this colonizer. Colonizer for wanting to watch anime. This is a real hot NPC take. So let's take a look. She was kind enough to use a iPhone notepad or some type of variation to give us a little bit of a, a question and answer type deal here. So here's some of her better answers here. Let's take a look at these. It's not available in my country. How am I supposed to watch it? Well, she replies by saying, you are not supposed to watch it. It's specifically not available to you. So if you wanted to watch an anime that's not brought over to the West, you know, it's not over here yet. You have no way to watch it legally, right? Well, uh, you're just not supposed to watch it at all. Turn that off. Let it go. <laughs> it's an old title. She responds, I bet there's a VHS copy on eBay somewhere, or it's lost to you. What's funny, VHS copy, how are you supposed to watch that? Get out of here. My parents won't pay for it, so then you pay for it. Again, a subscription is less than $10 a month. Subscriptions are expensive, she replies. No, they are not. An anime is a luxury. You do not require to survive, and it is not inhumane to deny you access to it. You can also watch it for free with ads. Then she has a response for people saying that they buy merch, which I want to point out is how the Japanese have dealt with piracy quite effectively, I might add, by building their audiences up and selling them merchandise. Uh, they've been doing quite well that way. It's one of the ways that they've actually managed to make, make uh, piracy work for them. But anyway, she says, buy the access to the show, too. It's less expensive. Here's my best, my, my favorite. But PC culture, feminism, politics of dubs ruins the show. She says, no, it doesn't. You're just an a-hole. How many times have you heard someone yell YOLO or yeet or mention a meme in a localization? It's done to make it more accessible and relevant, not to be transitional, by the way. Next liberal feminist witch coven meeting is at BN's. I love that she threw that in there. Isn't that great? Yeah, that doesn't ruin the show. It kind of does. It's not what they intended. I really wish that Japanese companies would put stipulations that they can't ruin their shows with that crap. But that's another that's another conversation. And it's 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 fixed by just not watching the dub, which I just don't do because of stuff like that. But anyway, really out of touch take. And she was roasted and ratioed into oblivion for doing it. Tons of people came in and just gave her, they gave her their peace of mind. And it didn't go over very well for her. A lot of people very upset by her hot take. And she didn't get the virtuous uh, backpacks that she thought that she would have got for it. Probably for that last little second about how, uh, you know, the NPC stuff doesn't ruin the anime. Yeah, people did not care for it. And she ended up apologizing, at least. I guess that's something. She came in and apologized. As to my earlier post, I misspoke. 
While I absolutely stand by my views on, pir on piracy, I'm embarrassed by my hyperbolic comparison. It was insensitive, and I'm better than that, and you deserve me better than that. Uh, whether people... <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute! How cute that you're backpedaling now. Uh, a lot of people saying stop being a Karen and so on. So uh, we'll see how this works out. For I got this yesterday. Did intend on talking about it. I saw Hero Hey talked about it too, uh, <laughs> and rightly so. It deserves a good roasting. Very very hot take by another Funimation voice actor that didn't go over very well. I do have a good update on what's going on with Japanese anime as far as what could replace kiss anime. And this has been the big thing going around talking about a YouTube initiative where a lot of the companies are going to get get together with this company called anime log and possibly combine their forces and make anime for free on YouTube. We'll see if anything happens from it, but a lot of big companies are coming together to try to maybe make this happen. We'll see if anything comes from it, but I think that this would be pretty cool. And uh, a nice slap in the face to our old buddies at Funimation. If uh, they could just make Funimation's streaming service irrelevant, I would like that a lot. So anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about all of this. I'd like to hear you in the comments below. Also, if you would, throw a like up, share the video. Make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.